All right, guys. Today we're talking about the Spartan Blades Aster. See, Taiwan made one XHP steel. Go ahead and talk about a couple things right off the bat. So you can see the what they give you for a sharpening choil doesn't even make it out of the plunge grind. The tip up here, even though I'm done testing this and I've already sharpened it four times, the weird spot on the left side of the blade here at the tip still isn't gone. And straight from the factory, they sharpened up into the plunge grind on this side. It's kind of hard to see, but I did stop before it. Otherwise, straightforward. It was sharpened halfway decent from the factory. Did have a little bit of burr left back here. It's part I taped off, though, so no big deal. It did test this on the factory edge. The first sharpening, third sharpening, and fourth sharpening. So we're going to watch the cutting real quick, and we'll talk about how all those edges did, how it sharpened, how it's dropped, and some things like that. Now that we saw that cutting, go ahead and talk about how this did. And I'll start out with sharpened perfectly fine. Doesn't feel really hard. I know they advertise 58 to 60 for a hardness range. Yes, I understand hardness isn't the end all. This does not feel as good as any of the Spyderco XHP that I have. Doesn't feel gummy or anything. Just sharpens really quick for XHP. Deburred perfectly fine. Really didn't have any trouble deburring it or anything like that. And I have not had a chance to hardness test this yet, but I am going to do it along with some other blades so toward the end, I'll make a guess at what I think the hardness is on this, and then I'll talk about it when I do a hardness video for some of the knives that I've tested lately, plus some other knives that have been tested in the past. Compare how it cut and how close it was to what I thought the hardness was. So on the factory edge, one inch section, with what the factory gave me, cut with it, and got 55 total feet of cutting before that was it, it was done. And within one or two cuts, it went from being like almost hanging up on paper to just totally giving out. Sharpened it up the first time, just like every other test. Same angle, grit, strop, everything like that. And came back and cut with it. And on the first sharpened edge, 121 total feet of cutting. I haven't said it in a while. This is why you should, you should sharpen pretty much everything you get. If you want to use the factory edge, that's, that's your call. Unless I'm testing, I don't use the factory edge. On most knives, I just go ahead and sharpen them right away. And that's a big reason why you're you're talking about 65, 70 feet worth of cutting performance in a one-inch section over the factory edge and the very first sharpened edge. Sharpened it the second time, 
cut the edge off on a stone, ran it like that a few times to make sure it was totally gone, sharpened it a third time, ran the test. On that test, 111 feet fine edge, 59 feet working edge for a total of 170 feet. Went back and sharpened it again for the fourth sharpening. Tested it 114 feet fine edge. 58 feet working edge for a total of 172 feet. I'll guess right now, I think this XHP is somewhere in the 59 and a half to 60 range right around there. That's my guess. I'm going off of some cold steels I've tested that Kurt did the hardness on. Some of them you saw. Some of them you didn't. Most notably, my XHP Lawman was low 60, 60.1, 60 60.2. And it did 10 to 15 feet more total cutting than this. That's my guess on the hardness. Otherwise, doesn't seem to be terrible from what I can see in here. I haven't taken it apart yet. I have to to hardness test it. Seems like there is a nylon on top of phosphor bronze. The bad thing about this, though, is when I got it, the detent was pretty weak and... Just from opening and closing for testing, haven't carried it, haven't used it, don't fidget with my stuff. The detent is, the detent's pretty much gone. It's, I mean, it, it will pull the knife in, but that's with just a little bit of force. So, I don't know if I'm actually going to carry this or not. I would like to put a little bit of use in on it to see how it actually compares to the cold steel and the spider coast stuff. Have to have to see how the the detent issue works out. Maybe I'll try to fix it when I take it apart. Maybe bend the lock bar over just a hair to put some more pressure on it, but it's it's pretty weak. So if you guys have one of these, you want to add anything I didn't, go ahead and put it down below. Otherwise, that's all I have for this one. As always, I appreciate your time, and thanks for watching.